What's up guys, Ben here, Anus Tech, and today we're just going to take a quick look at the AdSense Explosions plugin for WordPress. Uh, it's really easy to use and set up. What you want to do, of course, is come to Plugins, you go to Add New, you just type in AdSense, oh, pardon me, you can see I've already got it here, AdSense Explosion. <clears throat> Of course, you want to install it and activate it. And once it's installed and activated, you can just click on Settings, and you'll be able to set it up, configure it how you want. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do, of course, is add your AdSense Publisher ID. Got to make sure that you get paid, that everything's correct. Account. If you're unsure on how to find it, you'll have to. Um, make sure you have an AdSense account. Google.com forward slash AdSense. Create account, log in, sign up. Or if you've already got an account, you can just log in. And if you come over here and click on your email, you'll see that my publisher ID is right there. And for the sake of the AdSense explosions, we only want, it's a bit hard as you can see, but we only want the numbered part to put in here and then after you've done that you can go ahead and set up various ads that you want you could use the asynchronous ad beta it says it offers users a better experience so we'll try it um, like you said the AdSense data ad slot overrule three ad counts because some themes don't let you have more than three ads uh, you can use external CSS to go ahead and further modify your ads and the content if that's your type of thing. You can also go ahead and disable it for mobile themes. So when people visit your website on a mobile, um, some of the ads won't come up because sometimes they can be a problem depending on what size banner you want. They might not downsize with the theme so they might look a bit funny on mobiles. And then what you want to do is um you can either do basic, yeah, doesn't really matter too much as you can see. Uh basic user. What you want to do is add type one. It's best if you go ahead and name them. Something where you're gonna put them. And then so like this one's front page, right sidebar. And as you can see, it's a 125 by 125 button. But we have all these different styles here, and it gives a little description of what they are. As you can see, I've got for my app, my sidebar widget is um, a wide skyscraper. Let's see, as we see, if we go to the site here, that's actually this Titanfall. That's the sidebar widget right there. And then as you can see I've also got one set up top of posts so if we come to should be this one as you can see hold on I have the top of posts right there and then I also have one that's the post page bottom is what I've called it which is actually this one right here and as you can see, it shows up in different places, and we can go over that in a second. Uh, those are the, uh, create the different ad types. And as you can see, then what you do is you can come down here, and now where to show them. As you can see on single posts and static pages, I've chosen to show my ad type number 8, which is post page bottom, on the bottom and center. And I've decided to show my ad type 3 on the top in center. And then I've also gone ahead on multiple post pages which would be this page here as you can see it just has multiple of my blog posts on it. I've set it up oh, pardon me. I've set it up to have the different ad types after so many posts. So after the second, fourth, and eighth post it'll show an ad. That's just good because sometimes a post page you may have 20 posts or whatever on it, however many. This only goes up to 10, but yeah, so say you've got 10, you want to put an ad at the top and the bottom. It's real easy to do. 
and also I kind of skipped over it but on the single post and static pages you can also as you can see here only show if article is longer than such and such character so if you've got something if you have a lot of short articles that you may not want to add ads to uh, that function will come in handy most people are probably going to want it on the ads on most pages but it's always nice to have the option if you need it as you can see here we have the AdSense program policies I personally always just click hide the banner on ads pages that could violate Google because if you for some odd reason if Google flags one of your pages for something it could it could just cause a lot of trouble I've actually lost an AdSense account once for similar reasons and there was nothing I could see that what that should have caused it but for some reason Google spider bot or whatever they're called picked it up and didn't like it flagged it and that was that and that's pretty much it you can also as you can see you can insert Google Ads by using the widget um, it's real easy to go ahead and use this and get it set up and start creating revenue from Google Ads right on your WordPress blog well, that's it for this tutorial. Please check back. I will have more. If there's a certain WordPress plugin or anything about WordPress you want to know, please feel free to ask and I will go ahead and make a short video on it. So please check out some of my other videos on the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching.